This is not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out, see them things, see my that data. Listen, these hedgies, these shills, these bad actors, they're probably paid by the hedgies. They're putting out some, some paperwork about me getting suspended. My low lights get suspended back in 2008. And that is absolutely correct. But if they think by putting that out, it's it's been public knowledge. It's been public knowledge. They think that's going to stop me from fighting for for a fair and transparent market. All they did was, was, was make me double down on my conviction. So they can post the information that, that that's public knowledge. And I really don't care. I really don't care. Because it is irrelevant to all the fraud and corruption that's in the market right now. In 2008, I had some personal issues and I had to leave the country. And they they took my license by the fall. Okay, great. I asked for it back. When I finally got back, I asked for them to give me my license back. They told me no. So they told me no and I moved on. And I moved on. So what should I have done? Well, if they told me no, they're not giving me my, my license back. Should I cry? Should I, I, I crawl up in a hole and die? No, I reinvented myself. I reinvented myself. Did I forget the law? No, I did not forget the law. And because I still know the law and because I know how to file a case and I know how to do legal, do legal research, that's why these guys are in trouble. That's why the SEC is going to be in trouble. That's why Ken Griffin and Sidon is going to be in trouble because I filed that lawsuit and they are under pressure because I do my due diligence. I do my research. So if they think that by putting out the court order, saying that I asked them for my license back and they told me no. Yes, I did ask them for my license back and they did tell me no. Okay, but that don't change the fact that these are criminals. It don't change the fact that they are criminals. And if they think by, by, by telling people I asked for my license back and they didn't give it to me, and that that's gonna stop me from fighting for a fair and transparent market, they are sadly mistaken. I'm gonna get up every morning and fight every day for a fair and transparent market, no matter what they post. So they can post whatever they want. I don't. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. After I asked them for my license back, if they didn't give it back to me, should I just rolled up in a, crawled up in a hole and died? Or do I got to live my life and keep doing what I do? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.